Hi guys and welcome to another IBM ODM technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to talk about the new ODM 8.9 release. Specifically we're going to talk about its ability to export open API uh, uh, definitions which can then be imported into the IBM BPM product. So let's start with a simple ODM rule. So uh, here is a simple rule. We take a sale as input, and if the quantity of the sale is 10 or more, we give them a discount of 5%. Very simple rule, trivial in fact. So this rule has been deployed to my local rule execution server, and I've tested it and it's working and everything's just great. Now, if we look on the rule execution server, if we look at this rule, we see the HTDS description. So we drill down there, let me log back in again. Been a while since I logged in, sorry about that. Let me drill back down into it. Uh, nearly there, nearly there. Let's get back to the description. And we can see that we have uh, the ability to uh, download the REST interface to it. Now, new in 8.9, is the ability to export not just this Waddle definition, but Open API. So we can download an Open API description of the REST service interface that can be used to invoke this service. So if I select this entry and select download, we get a file downloaded, which is the JSON file, which contains my description. So if I open this up, we see it is the JSON description of my open API uh, service interface to the ODM service. Well, that's great. That's useful. Now let's go and have a look at IBM's BPM product. So here we have the IBM BPM environment. And if I come over here, I can say, let's create a new external service and we're given a wizard and we can create this service from uh, a bunch of external things and if we say we're going to create it from rest here hit the next button uh, we can now import our open api also known as swagger files so i bring up my browser i select the json file that was just downloaded and it has discovered that there's a service in it i hit the next button it asks what operations do I want to include. This is the operation that was exposed by the ODM environment. I hit next. It's going to create me a server definition and hit finish. Now what will have happened at this point is that we will have a uh, set of discovered objects. These are the inputs and outputs from that service interface. So that service interface was interrogated and these data objects were discovered. And we also now have this ability to call the operation. So let's now go and our, create ourselves a service flow and let us add the ability to call that operation. So I bring in an activity, I drop it on my canvas, I wire it in place. I wire it in place like this, uh, bring this up so we can see more of it, click on this service, select its implementation, select its implementation as being the newly discovered ODM service that was discovered from the uh, uh, OpenAPI document, select the operation I want to call, done, and we now see that there is data mapping that needs to be filled in. So for this service to run, we need to supply input for the request and we need to supply input for the response and error. So let's go and create ourselves some data definitions. So we go to variables and I need f uh, three variables. I need a request variable. I need a response variable and I need an error variable. Now I need to set the data types in this. So request will be of the request data type response will be of the response data type and error will be of the unsurprisingly error data type great so i've now created these three variables let's initialize the request give it a default value and we'll say we're going to be ordering red things and we're going to order 20 of them great 
So now I've given the input, the request data, some initial values, and now we should be ready to run this. So if I hit the uh, debug run inspector button, uh, we're stepping through our service, step over this, and we've got an error. Isn't that wonderful? We got an error. Let me pause here. Oh, and of course, the error is that although I created the variables, I didn't map them into my diagram. So back to my diagram, select my service, and map the variables. Map the variables. Yeah, that was a little dumb. So now we map the variables appropriately. And now let's try it again. Let's uh, hit the run button or the play button. Step over it. And now it's worked. Now if we look at the data and we look at the response data, we get a discount of 5%. So the way this worked was the BPM process ran. It reached this step in the process. This step in the process was mapped to an open API description whose implementation is unknown to BPM. The open API description was exported from ODM and that ODM service description caused the rule to run. By importing this into BPM, we now have automatic interrogation of the variables. If I come back and change my variables, let's say I'm not ordering 20 widgets, let's say I'm ordering five widgets, and debug it again, and we're stepping through the process, and then at the end, the discount will be, hopefully, zero. So that shows that our rule is firing correctly. And that, my friends, is really what I wanted to show you from this simple tutorial, that we have the capability to export uh, open API JSON definitions. We can download them to a file, and then we can import those open API definitions as a new uh, external service. And uh, through that wizard, it creates all the definitions that we need in order to be able to call that black box service. I hope you found this useful, and I look forward to making more of these tutorials in the future. Thanks, guys, and bye-bye.